Then the eyes of both were opened, and they knew that they were naked. And they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves loincloths. What this means is clothing is the oldest type of technology, straight from the Garden of Eden. And it has been evolving since then. This evolution led us to develop proper clothing for explosive environments and the ability to work with ESD sensitive equipment like the one we have here. ESD is a well-known phenomenon, especially during the cold winter months when the air is dry. It's the sudden flow of static electricity between the two objects with different electrical potentials, often caused by direct contact or an electrical short. This sudden transfer of electricity can damage electronic components or even ignite flammable substances. There are a few ways to prevent ESD. If you are at the gas station, touch something metal before you are getting out of the car. At home, you can increase the humidity, which is also healthier for your skin. And of course, if you are at TME.eu, you can simply order ESD-safe clothing. Gloves, t-shirts, lab coats, socks, finger cuts, everything you need to prevent uncontrolled discharges. If you are new to USD clothing, you are in the right place. I've picked a few items to give you a better idea of how to dress for success, starting with the ESD t-shirt. The main difference between regular clothes and ESD safe ones is the conductive material. Usually there are carbon or metallic threads woven into the fabric, like in this t-shirt. Another difference is that they are mainly come in three colors, blue, gray and black, which solves the problem of what should I wear for work. The fabric of the t-shirts is either 97% cotton or a cotton polyester mix with about 3% conductive material, like in this one from Eurostat. But why is cotton preferred fabric for ESD clothes? Why not to use fleece or wool? Although cotton and wool are natural fibers, they come from different sources. Cotton comes from, well, you guessed it, from the cotton plants. It's primarily made from cellulose, a carbohydrate that makes it soft, breathable and hydroscopic. This structure helps cotton to dissipate static electricity under certain conditions, especially in humid environments. In dry conditions, however, cotton loses its dissipative properties and its tendency to shed fibers possess a contamination risk. Wool, on the other hand, comes from the fleece of sheep and other animals like goats or alpacas. It's a protein-based fiber, the keratin, that tends to generate more static electricity compared to cotton, especially in dry conditions. So, while it has excellent insulation properties, wool isn't the best choice for ESD protection because it holds into static charges more stubbornly. And this brings the question, do sheep tend to zap themselves in the dry winters? No! Of course not, they are grounded. Anyway, that's why you won't find wool around the ESD sensitive equipment. Instead, you'll find a mixture of cotton, polyester and conductive fibers like in this lab coat. Personally, I find lab coats much more comfortable and they are definitely give you at least 10 extra points to intelligence, yeah! In reality, lab coats provide better protection by covering larger areas, longer sleeves, and full coverage of the upper body. They are also perfect for situations where quick changes between the environments are needed. These t-shirts and lab coats aren't cheap, so you want to take care of them and wash them from time to time. If not for yourself, at least for your co-workers. Just pay attention to the laundry and ironing instructions. Well, if it is a one-time job, you can also opt for an anti-static disposable coverall, like this one from Antistat. Uh, what's great about these coveralls is the breathability and comfort. When you wear them, you can do unpleasant things with pleasure. You won't feel like a human trapped in a musket on a hot summer day. You can actually focus on your work without sweating it. And I will prove it to you because I'm gonna wear it for the rest of the video. So far we have talked about t-shirts, coats and overalls, but we haven't touched any ESD sensitive components yet, which is good, because in most cases you shouldn't handle them with your bare hands, mainly because bears cannot handle ESD sensitive equipment. No, sorry. The two reasons are to reduce the risk of ESD and to avoid transferring harmful skin oils and soles. Now, to address the matter at hand, <laughs> We offer almost 200 different protective gloves and finger cuts. This means better fit, better protection and we better get to it. 
ESD gloves come in two main categories, fabric and rubber or plastic gloves. Fabric gloves are all about the comfort, flexibility and breathability, ideal for long-term use in delicate environments, for example, these seamless knit gloves from Antistat. Some say seamless technology shortens the production time, minimizes material wastage and offers greater comfort for the wearer. But for sure, this prayer is ESD safe thanks to the dissipative carbon stripe filament, perfect for handling electronic parts. On the other hand, plastic or rubber gloves offer more durability and protection, especially against punctures and chemicals while still maintaining ESD safety. For instance, those nitro gloves from Static Tech. These are great alternative for latex and offer excellent sensitivity with a thickness of about 0.06 millimeters. If you want the best of both worlds, fabric gloves with coated fingertips or coated palms offer a hybrid solution giving you precision, comfort and protection in one. Here are two examples. The PVC coated palm gloves from Eurostat give you a better grip when handling items while the back is lint-free polyester fabric which helps eliminate the risk of product contamination. And my personal favorite polyurethane fingertip coated gloves. This increase the grip in the fingertips while allowing maximum breathability for the rest of the palm. Plus, they are perfect for touchscreens. For more precise tasks where full hand gloves are unnecessary, ESD safe finger coats are your best bet. They are made of latex and come in small, medium, large and extra large. You can even get a party pack. Now that you're all set to step into your works day, don't forget this, ESD socks, ESD shoe grounders and ESD covers, or at least one of them. While I prefer Nike socks with L and R designation, Nike doesn't work with uh, family companies and they are definitely not ESD safe like these from Static Tech. These socks are mostly made of cotton, so they are breathable and they contain conductive metal fibers to provide a steady flow of charge to the ground. I should mention that these work best with ESD shoes, but if you don't have any, you can always use the shoe grounders. To wear them properly, make sure the conductive strip touches your bare foot, so it goes right into the sack, while the black part goes on the sole. The secured part is secured with Velcro. ESD clothing is such a big topic that it even has its own branding. All ESD protective equipment should be identified with this logo, which means the product has at least one of those ESD control properties. For all these products and more, check out tme.eu and be sure to see how we pack and store ESD sensitive equipment. Now, uh, don't forget to discharge before you go and stay grounded. See? No, I'm not sweating. I'm not sweating. We're <laughs> better